And there is our little culprit. So we can see that there is a little extra float of the weft. Instead of going over, under, over, under, we have it go over several ends. So I'm going to take a little bit of my extra yarn. A foot is more than enough. Then I find my needle and thread it with that extra yarn. And I'm going to start fixing the mistake about an inch and a half from the start of it and about an inch and a half after it. I'm going to make sure that I found the right thread. Use my needle to follow that thread over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, so now I'm where the mistake is. I'll pull the needle through, leaving a tail at the other side. I just went under, so I'm going to go over, under, then over, under. And sometimes you have to pull it apart a little bit so you can see what's going on. Over, under, over. So I'll go through one or two at a time to make sure I'm getting everything correct. Under, over, under, over, under. That is now going to replace that bad thread and I'm going to do a careful check to make sure that it looks correct. We're in good shape, so now I can keep going with my needle following that thread for about an inch or an inch and a half. Plies make it easy to split the threads in half, so pay attention that you aren't always going through the center of the thread. If it happens every now and then, it's okay. I just like to check and be careful that it doesn't look messy. So that looks pretty good to me. So I'll flip it over and make sure that it also looks clean on the other side. So I keep my hand in that spot, flip it over so I know where it is on the other side and take a close look there too. It looks fairly clean there too. Now we can cut out my bad one. So I'm going to cut in the center of the float and for right now, I'll leave those tails and cut them later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more techniques and tutorials. Happy weaving.